Alright, what's up guys? Back with another video. It is Becker's Saltwater Guide. And uh, today, since it is almost Christmas, I believe it's like 17 days now. And uh, we're going to do a Christmas fly. I'm going to show you how to make this fly right here. Yep, I already did this video, but the whole shot was out of frame. So I have to do it again. So I already have this fly tied, but I'm going to show you how to make it. And we're going to film a part two to this video. So please like and subscribe so you can see that part two. We're going to go out. And yeah, we're going to see if this fly catches fish. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the materials you're going to need is going to be bucktail, the green, like chartreuse color bucktail. Um, this red chenille, ice dub chenille. Gold crystal flash right here. And I'm going to use, since it is Christmas colored, I'm going to use be using this these eyes to get it down. And then I'm going to also be using these barred silicone legs. And then uh these shrimp eyes. So yeah. Let's get right into it. First, we're gonna take this crystal flash. And we are going to cut it. Yep. That's right, guys. We are going to cut the crystal flash. We just want two long strands. And then we reverse them back to really, it really looks like there's four strands, but you're only using two longer ones. So you take it just like that. Oh, oh look at that. I forgot the hook. So I think this will be good for spooky fish, which if you don't know, I already, I do not, I no longer have a boat. So all of our videos, the rest, a lot of videos from now until, I don't know, I'd say definitely a few months from now at least until I get another boat. Um, I will be doing mostly wade fishing, paddleboard fishing, uh, and beach fishing, as well as some bass videos. So I have some really good ideas to come, guys. So please, please, please follow along for it. I love making these videos. And um, if I can get other people excited about fishing as excited or more excited than I get about fishing, that would be, like, great. I just want some more subscribers. I already enjoy how uh, I've already gotten some comments. Yep. Ignore that light. It is being really weird right now. But I do, I already enjoy how people are interacting with some of my videos. And I really appreciate those comments because it makes me want to keep filming. So we wrap the gold around there. Now we're going to take two of these shrimp eyes. Yep, we just need two more. Two more shrimp eyes. We're going to wrap them in. Wrap them about that length. So it's still going to look like a fling shrimp. Similar to the one I did in my other video. Except for the one in my other video. Um, it's proven to catch fish. And now I'm going to cut this. We're 
grab this hard. And wrap all this down. Cool beans. God, that light is so annoying. All right. Now we're going to get some of this. This, um. I'm going to get some of this, uh. Bucktail. Some Chartreuse Truce Bucktail. I'm just going to lay that right on top of this shank right here. Actually, I'm going to stack that. Not stack it, sorry. Guys, I'm having trouble speaking today. So I'm just going to save that for now, for now and I'm going to get go ahead and tie these eyes in because I've forgotten I didn't need to do that so I'm just going to go ahead and tie this red eye in really tight So we're going to do a few more. Figure eight wraps. Then I'm going to wrap it back down the shank. All right, now we'll take all of our, all of this, I'm going to take out all the under, under fur. And then I'm going to tighten that down, just like so. Yeah, so that looks pretty good. We're going to take all this. We go right under that and take all that off, give it a little haircut. Then wrap all that up. Oh yeah, there we go. And while I do that, pull out these, and then I'm going to get two strands of these nice silicone legs. There we go. So I'm going to get these. I'm going to tie these in right about there. And take those around to the other side. Just like that. Alright, that's cool, cool. I'm just going to kind of take it behind here, because I want that out of the way. Now I'm going to finish the fly with this red chenille. This is the last material you will need. So I'm just going to wrap it around the shank, just like so. You just kind of want to get it tight around that hook. And 
and then I'm going to take this back up here. And now I'm going to wrap I'm going to wrap this fly. I'm going to kind of make this body thick towards the end. Oh, I don't want to do that. I just want to make it thicker right here. And then kind of thin out over here. Pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. This chenille. And then I'm going to take this whip finish tool and I'm going to finish it off. Actually, I'm going to finish it off behind. Yeah. Finish it off right here. Alrighty, there you go guys, and that is the end of the video.